Hi, here is a quick video demo of some of the features implemented as part of the Pi Control Hub project using a Raspberry Pi 3 and the NOcean kit hosted by Element 14. As part of the project, as you see here, is the hub, which contains a Raspberry Pi 3 and the Pi 7 inch display, and a Raspberry Pi camera, which you can easily move around to point to a spot required. The Pi camera is enclosed in a 3D printed case, which can be mounted on a flexible tie, which you see me moving around there. Now, once you're done monitoring or recording a specific area in your house, you can remove the Pi camera off the flexible tie and store it in a slot inside the hub. The hub also contains speakers powered by an audio amplifier connected to the audio jack of the Raspberry Pi, as you can hear in action now. We can use a software package like Mopida, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right, which you can play music stored either on your Raspberry Pi or from SoundCloud or play one of your favorite playlists from Spotify. To play music from Spotify, you will need a premium account. Mopita integrates nicely with Home Assistant, which is installed on the Raspberry Pi 3, which is basically an open source community driven home automation software as you see here. Now I also have the Sense hat attached to the Raspberry Pi GPIO headers at the bottom of the hub, which you can see here, which I can use in the morning uh, before heading out to work to display the temperature, humidity and weather conditions. Unfortunately, the camera is not able to catch the scrolling text because the LEDs are too bright. Now I am quickly going to move to a screen share which should give you a better view of the home assistant dashboard. I am also going to use my iPhone to demo getting out the Pi camera and mounting it to the flex cable as you see now. And once that's done, I am going to point the Pi camera to the lampshades which have the Philips Hue bulbs installed. Now if your Philips Hue bridge is not auto discovered by Home Assistant, you will have to add this as part of the configuration.yaml file which is the configuration file for Home Assistant. All these details and the specific instructions are mentioned in an element 14 blog post. You can then use the controls as you see on the screen now to switch on or switch off the bulb or even to change uh, the brightness and the color of the bulb depending upon the type of Philips Hue bulb you have purchased. So here is me trying out various colors as you see on the iPhone camera as well as the Pi camera feed just behind the iPhone. In the dashboard just below the Pi camera feed, you can also see the security camera feed which uses the Pi Neuer camera and a Raspberry Pi Zero. I also have a separate tab for it where you can see a larger preview of the Pi Neuer camera. Moving on to the next part of the project called the Blind Automation Spoke, where I am using a Raspberry Pi B Plus with the NOcean module and the push button NOcean switch as you see here to open and close my blinds. Now as part of the next spoke, we are going to build a keyless door entry system using a Raspberry Pi A Plus 
and a server motor, which contains a Python Flask app hosted, where you need to enter your password as you see here. And once your password is entered, the door can be opened and closed. Thanks for watching and thank you Element14 for sending out the awesome kit.